if you are a church that is willing to discipline, those who have hard hearts are going to react negatively to that. And, it, and you'll bring upon the church some opposition. There will be opposition. Correct. And I'm wondering how, how can Christians prepare themselves? How can pastors prepare themselves? And how can pastors prepare their flock to be able to face opposition yeah. and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and his ways? Yeah, I've never, I've not, I've read quite a bit in church history and I've never read of a reformation or a revival that occurred to the background noise of polite golf applause. Um, that's just not how it works. So if someone says, I want to be faithful to God and to Jesus and his word, and I want, and I want to have my life be one of quiet serenity, I, I would say, I'm sorry, you want two inconsistent things. Jesus said, if you want to follow me, you have to take up your cross daily. Uh, Paul says, all who, all, um, all who live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. And Jesus says, beware when all men speak well of you. So if a man has a ministry and getting good press, good, getting good press and everybody in the neighborhood loves him, he ought to be worried on the authority of the Lord Jesus that he's compromising, that he's doing something wrong. Uh, and Jesus said, when people slander you, when they attack you, when they throw dead cats at you, um, Jesus said, go around the corner and dance a little jig. It, well, actually, what he says is, rejoice and be exceedingly yes. glad. So when your, your name shows up in the newspaper again, attached to lies again, and there was one week where we, our church made the front page of the newspaper every night for a whole week. You know, it was like we were under a barrage of people telling all kinds of inaccurate stories. Um, Christian pastors need to study the word and see that this is a feature, not a bug. Okay, this is how it's supposed to go, yeah. right? There was an Anglican clergyman in the 19th century, I think it was, who said, everywhere the Apostle Paul went, there was a revival or a riot. He said, everywhere I go, they serve tea. Mm. 